Hello, my name is Steve Bowler, and I just want to give you guys an update on Bowler CBT Labs and what's going on. As some of you might know, we've come out with a Volume 3, and it is now out. Volume 3 includes 20 new labs covering the topics below. We go over OSPF. In OSPF, we're going to be talking about OSPF filtering using distribute lists and filter lists. Also, I go over the OSPF network type of point-to-point. -point. And I also go over OSPF external summarization. Also, we have EIGRP labs as well, where we go over filtering as well with distribute lists with EIGRP, where we use prefix lists. We also talk about EIGRP split horizon. Here we have RIP version 2. I have multiple RIP version 2 labs. Again, RIP version 2 is very important to understand at all levels, at CCNA level, CCMP, and CCIE level. So we go over split horizon with RIP version 2. We also talk about RIP version 2 filtering with distribute lists using access control lists. Also, we go into RIP version 2 passive interfaces. So we talk about passive interface concept with RIP version 2 and also I believe we go over RIP version 2 update types and that is via broadcast, unicast, and multicast. So we talk about all three how to send RIP updates using all three types. Also we have a quality of service lab. We talk about priority queuing. We have a BGP lab going over BGP peer groups we have an MPLS lab where we talk about VRF Lite. That's a great lab. We also have a system management lab where we are talking how to implement Telnet. And also another system management lab where we're talking about how to implement SSH on your router. We have an IP services lab where we go over how to set up one of your routers as a DNS server. We have a redistribution lab here that goes over EIGRP and OSPF, mutual redistribution, and some of the very important concepts of redistribution. So this lab is a must if you're going for the CCMP. You must know these concepts that we teach in this lab and how the redistribution process works and some of the features that go on in the background that you might not see in the when you do a show run that comes up in your router but actually there are some things that the router does when you do redistribution within your routing protocols that you have to be very aware of and we explain all those concepts with the redistribution lab too. We have an access control list lab and ACL lab where we go over extended ACLs very important again at the CCNA level, CCIE level, and CCMP level. We also introduce network address translation. So I've had a lot of demand for NAT labs. So in here I have two NAT labs where I go over static NAT and I also show you what's called NAT overload, or otherwise known as port address translation, or PAT. And then we also have an IPv6 lab where we are tunneling IPv6 information over our legacy IPv4 network. So we're do going, we're doing IPv6 tunneling over IPv4 network, otherwise known as IPv6 IP. And I also have had some people wonder what's the difference between the complete set and the ultimate set. And the big difference between the complete set is the complete set is only volume 1 and 2 where the ultimate set is volume 1 2 and 3 so that's why if we go and bring up my web page here you can see here you might get you might be getting confused here you can see here the complete set is four DVDs says volume 1 and 2 and the ultimate set is all of my labs to date which are volume 1 2 and the just recently released volume three. So again, all these labs you're going to get for a fraction of the price that you're going to be able to find just CCNA level labs uh, 
provided by other IT training vendors out there. Again, fraction of the price at what you're going to get for some of these leading IT vendors. Uh, you probably know who they are. Again, under $100, you're not going to find anything that even touches this worldwide on the market. And, you know, if you want proof of the product, you can see here I have, if you go ahead and want to look at my user feedback here, my customer feedback, I have 89 feedback score now, 100% positive. Just some of the recent ones here. I received item as described promptly. Good product, will buy again. Highly recommended material. Hope you'll make one for other track in the future. Great guy to do business with. No problems whatsoever. Uh, Steve is the man. When I just want to see it work, this is the way to go. Superbly packed. Highly recommended. eBay or A+. So as you can see here, a lot of positive feedback that I'm getting from users and at a price that you're not going to be able to find anywhere else on the market. Um, also, what I want to tell you guys too, I want to tell you here that we are working on, and when I say we, uh, I have a brother that is also a CCMP and a CCNA and a CCDA, and he's working on his uh, CCIE routing and switching as well, and some of the other Cisco certifications, and he is helping me produce some videos we are going to be working on a CCNA security CBTs that are going to be coming out before November 15th and they're going to cover the following topics here we're going to go over security Cisco SDM our security device manager we're going to be going over ACLs so some of my ACL labs from my previous volumes we're going to wrap into the CCNA security bundle here uh, also, we might have a couple new ACLs. We, we're going to try to hit uh, CBAC and dynamic ACLs and maybe reflexive ACLs. We're also going to be taking a look at VPNs, both on the command line and through SDM. We're also going to be doing layer 2 security, so switch port security. And we might also throw in some bonus security labs going over uh, some spanning tree features like port fast, uh, BPDU guard, BPDU filter and how to filter VLANs using spanning tree um, and also here we also might hit into some VLAN access control lists or otherwise known as VACLs so again those might be some bonus labs that we throw in the CCNA security CBTs also here we're going to be doing one step lockdown we're also going to be showing you how to implement syslog probably on command line and via SDM. We're also going to be showing you how to configure what's known as AAA, our authentication, authorization, and accounting. And we might throw in a couple more labs that have not been determined yet. So what's upcoming after that? We, What I'm going to start doing is I'm going to start working on uh, some of my voice, my Cisco certified voice professional. So I'm going to try to grab the CCVP. I've already ordered some stuff for a lab and for some books. So I'm going to dive into CCVP because I know voice is very, a uh, very high priority right now. And I'm going to try to get a voice lab set up and get into voice because I've had a lot of people ask for labs in other areas, arenas as well, besides routing and switching. And we also might be coming out with a troubleshooting volume to help you pass the CCNA. And also I should put here, for the CCMP T-shoot exam. Again, you can find all this material on my, my store here on eBay and that is located on http colon forward slash forward slash stores dot ebay dot com forward slash capital B lowercase o w l e r dash capital C B T dash capital L lowercase A B S. So again that's what's coming out and that's what's going on right now. Thanks for all your guys' positive feedback, and if you need anything, just, uh, just go ahead and email me. Thanks a lot.